Hi guys, so here we go again and as you know, it's been a long time that we haven't checked our Discus community tank and they are all excited as you can see following me. Also for those who are curious on how are they doing, well they're doing great. As you can see up close, they grew so much. Well actually they're all chubby right now. Um, Discus are somewhat picky eaters so they grew a bit and probably they grow slowly I would say but as for this baby Discus as you can see here my pigeon checkerboard sorry about the camera getting out of focus but um, it's still visible that the two of them actually who grew up together the other one is a little bit pale color and then the other one has a little more um, brighter orangey yellow color um, both are as I said pigeon checkerboard and uh, all the angel fish that I have are curious and it's getting bigger and bigger also for my dinner fish well they're chubby and they grew a lot so well our goal for today is having a 30 percent or a little bit of going 40 percent water change right now though the water still or looks like it's clear still for all fish um, keepers that we have it's not the color of the water but how clean the water is for them and as you know all fishes inside the tank here is somewhat swimming with their own poop and urine and waste of their food so we need to somewhat filter the water and soon because as i'm seeing our plants are somewhat not dying but changing to a new um sprout to it so we have some dead leaves there that i need to remove and uh, as you can see here everybody is curious on what's going on every time that we do a water change and here's one cutie discus baby discus that we have that is curious as the camera is right in front of them and they're curious about me what i what am i doing and here's my other discus this is somewhat the boss among the discus that i have um, it's bigger also um, when it comes to the size and those are the dither fish that we have we got some rummy nose red eye tetra we got some dwarf rainbow fish and also we got cardinals we got some black phantom and we got priscilla and we got also emperor um, tetra so and some um, quarries that we have there and uh, we have also torpedo barb and as you can see well all of these fishes that I have here grew or growing up with me and um, that's the beauty of having them as a baby you can always appreciate how they're growing and happy of how you are taking care of them and as you can see here this is the one that always follows me around all the angels so whenever that i go from one side of the tank to the other side they keep on following well the idea is or probably the tendency is that because that they're always hungry they keep on following me and one thing is that they're always um fun to look at well everybody is um, happy right now as to changing the water and they're very curious about it and also one thing is that <laughs> it's funny when their eyeball is trying to stare at you as if you're the one that is you know trapped inside or outside the tank Anyway, as you can see here, all my discus are doing fine, though some of them actually are a little bit 
um, aloof, I would say. They don't really go too close to the um, glass, um, unlike the angels and also my dinner fish. They always group together and just like that, as the one that you're seeing right now. They tend to come together at the back part. Now, that's a good thing about having a black background. They feel safe around and, uh, well, the light of the tank actually beams down to the center. So, the back part and towards the side, actually, on the left and the right side of the tank is somewhat a little bit dimmer or I would say darker. So, they would not feel, you know, um, threatened if ever that I'm so near on the glass and uh, one thing for fish keeper um, for the beginners actually um, discus and angel fish are cichlids so they have this a little bit aggression um, trying to uh, poke each other or a little bit of um, kind of bullying each other but not so much like the other aggressive cichlids that you know, like um, the Embuna or the African cichlids or the South American or Central American cichlids, uh, the bigger fishes um, kind of cichlids. But for this one, you would um, see aggression, but that's about it, Just just trying to um, see who's the boss and that's about it so I have I have placed the water down and uh, we're about to fill it up um, in a while and uh, well as you can see there there's a bit of water marks that we have on the tank and I'm planning to uh, actually clean this tank um, to do probably an, an 80% uh, water change because whenever that I would do a water change a 30 to 20% I can see all the particles are uh, being disturbed already and uh, I might do a little bit cleaning as you can see on the back um, for that part it's because I can't reach it I'm just 5'2 and the tank it has uh, this stand actually is tall that I have to uh, get onto a, a chair so I can actually well I can't really reach the the bottom of the tank um, just to let you know so I would need to use a tool a scrubbing tool to reach the back part of the tank um, just to clean or scrub or scrape the algae that is forming um, caused by the light that we have for this tank. The light actually runs almost uh, more than eight hours. It's because um, this tank actually is for my parents to look at whenever they, um, you know, sit down at the dining area and do their stuff. And so for viewing purposes, uh, we have the light going and as you can see there, well the good thing about it is because even the driftwood and the other plants have brown algae, it makes like a natural uh, look. Uh, it creates um, inside the tank. So guys, um, after filling up the tank, this is how it looks like now. Well, as you would see with the other um, previous vlogs that we have, it's always after 24 hours that you would see or after a long hour of waiting, you would see how clear the water is. You can see from one end to other end there. And uh, the fishes, you would uh, appreciate them better. But don't forget to subscribe, okay, with my whole vlog, because every time that we post, um, it's all about 
uh, fishes, cooking, adventure, travel, and all sorts. Especially now that the uh, pandemic is almost over. And here is the look of the tank. And I want you to um, see how it looks like whenever there's a water change to encourage you um, fish keepers that you can maintain your tank. And with just a little bit of effort there doing a water change and you can achieve this kind of, you know, um, fresh looking swimming and uh, entertaining uh, fishes here that we have and uh, if you have watched the the previous one we have smaller angel fishes but now we got them bigger and they're fed well in the morning and in the evening just moderate feeding that we do there's one comment though that um, I was told that angels would actually um, take the food out from the discus or the other fishes but what I do um, is I feed my angels on one side of the tank and then I feed the others on the other side and sometimes I place my hand just to have the food lowered down to my dither fishes who's somewhat afraid of course with the other bigger fishes so to scatter the food around so everybody can eat and that's why they're all chubby chubby the best part is that my family's happy looking or viewing this tank so again guys thank you for watching till next vlog again okay and don't forget to subscribe to my hope vlog so till next time bye bye now